in this session we are going to learn about conditional operator that is we are going to learn about ternary operator okay in our previous session we have seen about comparison operators logical operators now we are going to see about conditional operator that is ternary operator so this is the syntax of ternary operator we will be writing one condition here if this condition becomes true then this first statement will be printed if this condition becomes false then this second condition okay the false condition will be printed so the syntax will be condition question mark true statement we will have colon then we will have this false statement so ternary operator will be question mark and colon okay this is the Okay, this is the symbol of ternary operator. Now let's see an example of this one. When we just want to display one statement, that is, if we just want to check the condition and if we want to display one statement, we can use this ternary operator. But if you want to display multiple conditions, multiple statements, then using ternary operator it is not possible. We will be using if else statements for that. Okay, if we want to print multiple statements, then we will be using ladder if else. But for this one, if you just want to print only one statement, okay, it is just a basic example of if else. If else, you don't have to worry. In our later sessions, we are going to study about what is if, if else, nested block, and everything. As of now, ternary operator is nothing but when the condition is true, it is going to print the result. And if the condition is false, then also it is going to print the result based on the value we have given. Okay, now let us just see an example. Then you will understand this one. Okay, this is the symbol for that. I will just create one variable, let x. And in 5 this bracket, I will be giving one condition. 5 is less than 10. Okay, this condition is true. Okay, I have given 5 is greater than 10. So, this condition is false. So, inside this, let me just write here true statement. I will be writing colon and here I will be writing false. Now, here I will just print here x. I will save this. Now, you can see I got the result as false. Whatever I have written in the second statement, that will be displayed. Because this condition became false. So, the false statement will be displayed. If I just write here less than. So, this condition is true. So, true statement will be printed. Okay, it is not like only this whatever true and false will be printed. Whatever value I write here that will be displayed. If I just write here hello and here if I just write here bye. I will save this. Now, hello will be displayed. This part will be the true condition and this part will be the false condition. If this condition is true, I will get this statement. If this condition is false, I will get this statement. So, now we can use here AND operator as well. That is our logical AND operator. I will be writing AND. Now, inside this, let me just write here 77 is greater than, 77 is less than 100. It is, I will save this. Again, I got this condition. Okay, that is true. If I just write here 77 is greater than 100, I will be getting this condition. Because this condition is true, but this condition is false. In our previous session, we have already seen, if we are using logical AND operator, both the condition should be true. Only then we will be getting the result as true. But here, one condition is false. So, I got this false statement. Okay, you can just see multiple examples as well. Now, let me just create one variable. Let, I will be writing here color. Color is equal to black. I have just written this one. Let me just write here string. Now, my color is black. Now, below this, I am just going to check for the condition. Let, y is equal to, y is equal to, let me just write here color. Inside this, I will be writing here black. Then I will be writing colon. I will be writing here red. 
below this let me just write here log i will display y i will save this i got the output as black because my color value is black so this became true so i got the result as black that is the true statement now in place of this let me just write here green i will save this again i got the result as black that is the true statement because as i told you for zero for false only for those things we will be getting the result as false but for numbers and this kind of values the result will always be true so true condition will be displayed now in place of this if i just write here zero i will save this i will get the result as red okay that is the false statement if you just want to display one statement and if you just want to check for the condition then you can use this ternary operator and you can get the result okay this is the basic example we have seen when we start making projects then we are going to use this ternary operator and we are going to build advanced projects in this series okay this is just a basic example to understand what is ternary operator and what is the use of ternary operator if the condition is true true statement will be printed if the condition is false then false statement will be printed next session we are going to learn about type of operator